As you can see, I got the little fittings. This one right here, I think it has some gas built up. So just be careful because it almost spilled on my face. This is the only one that's giving me a little bit more trouble. I won't say it's because it doesn't have that much room. But for once it drops this tank, you should be able to wiggle a little bit. I right, plug this one, the little clips. I mean, you can see the little clips, so I'll show you guys in a minute. And I also plug this one in here. So for this, we're gonna be using our 14. It's actually a little bit harder than I thought. These bolts, as you can see, I mean, there's years of rust on them. So all that had to get cleared up. <sighs> Seems like the tank's a little full, so I might have to empty it out a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that first. All right, guys, so let me just show you real quick. I'm having to hand cut that bolt. For some reason, it was not coming off it was just twisting or turning in there won't come down so I think it's stripped right in the middle of that I'm not too far from it so I mean I'm just taking my time I didn't want to use an air tool because I didn't want to risk I got the fuel lines right here so let me zoom in real quick see we're almost we're almost there the tank dropped <laughs> fell on me all I'm trying to get is just that one line I'm stuck over there. Let me go ahead and pull this out real quick. I'm gonna have to drag it for now. Man, I totally underestimated how much gas was in this tank. I wanna say it's a good old five gallons. I'm gonna try to find the gap for this. Already being dry, we're gonna go ahead and take our seal and sit down here. Oh, there you go.
mistaken. Let me grab that and show you guys real quick. All right, so once you have your ring, let me get up close. You guys see how this little corner right here, that little lip, obviously we put a little more force. It's gonna go under there. The well, same thing for the other ones. Make sure that your fuel center unit sitting right. This one seems to be a little bit crooked, but you should probably be able to fix it. I think they welded it a little bit. Anyways, so I'm just gonna try to use the little chisel. Remember, use these little tabs right here. I use these, use these right here. See if we can chisel it down push it around. That's it. It's in right there. See that little tab right there? They're all sitting. Pretty flush. So, we're good. Alright, here comes the front part. What's up guys? So, it went ahead and I connected all the, the gas lines. I used regular fittings, you know, just the ones that you kind of screw on. Um, can't remember the size of those. But yeah, I have most of my, my lines hooked up. All I need to do is hook up the ground. Now I did cut off half of the old wire. That's why previously you saw that it was like cut. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna solder it because of previous videos and some research I did before attempting to do this. People were complaining that the ground wire was a little short. So I just went ahead and did that. Probably gonna be soldering it up and then just kind of be using one of these little rubber tubes, little hit shrink deal and probably call it good. Show you guys so here's what i used and i just went ahead and put the original back on just in case if this one was to fail well at least i have one or vice versa but yeah um went ahead and used the little little fittings one two two three I have a fourth one over there. And now, like I said, I left the original wire. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tie the solder them up and then do that. So we're able to read our fuel more accurately now. So we're gonna go uh, put some more fuel in it and see how it runs, see, how, see what that does to it.